cancers, my moon babies. That's, that's who we are. It's who we are. It's who we are. It's so good to be home with you always. Cancers, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. If you're just discovering the channel, please do click subscribe and ring that bell so that you know uh, when all the content gets uploaded. This is your oracle reading, sun, moon, rising signs, cancer across the board. Or you can take this energy for this week and apply it wherever cancer influences your natal chart. The energies will be applicable. So we do an oracle spread here and then... In the extended, there's a full tarot card spread to extend it and clarify, as well as a romance reading. So, Cancerians, you know how this works. Let's get right into it. Yes, if you are on platforms that allow for any kind of commercial break, there will be one, but I will tell you about it. I will let you know, and I won't let it interrupt the message. So, hold on one second. Okay, the cards went flying. One of them even sort of went down my staircase. And I feel like there's a sense of um, the crowning energy here is almost like not being able to see the forest through the trees this week. That's what it is. It's like being impeded by a lot of details that are cluttering up your brain and not allowing you to see the bigger, larger picture. You have dog energy, which is the loyalist of all energies here in this deck. You know, this is like true love, this is real love, but it's almost like there's this sense that something wasn't right or that a sense of betrayal or that, that you wasted so much of your time and energy and effort on these feelings or on in this circumstance you almost feel like you've wasted your loyalty, but you really haven't. I feel like there is a sense of betrayal this week, a sense of disappointment in a circumstance, a situation, or a person. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, like something is cluttering your mind. It's it's gotten you it's gotten you angry and disappointed and hurt. It's it's interrupting your ability to be okay and feel okay it's 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 emotional turmoil that's the crowning energy this week of um maybe a relationship ending uh, and it, it's more toward the friendship aspect of a relationship ending feeling backstabbed or let down by a friend that you thought was helping you or wanted the best for you and then turning around and seeing that they really didn't or feeling feeling that they have wow oh boy cancerians it's almost like you're feeling like you've wasted a lot of time and a lot of energy or that this relationship could be coming to an end. But I honestly want to say, stop, stay your hand because I think that you're, you're not being able to see the forest through the trees. Like you're seeing only what's up close to you or your feelings are impeding your ability to see the bigger picture because you feel like your loyalties have been betrayed. But there has a sense to me that I need to say to you, stay your hand before you make any decisions. I think that there's a lot of upset and emotions are running high and you could really benefit from just taking a second and breathing. This is, in other words, this energy came flying out. So it's almost like you're, impe you're, you're compelled to make a really rash decision. Um, transformation is, transformation is beautiful, but this is, this is stuck. This is stagnant. Um, you are ready to just leave. That's your energy right now. Cancerian, this is, this is the energy of done. This is the energy of, I don't care. Apathy. That's 
you I feel like you have gone through so much intense emotion that you are in a sense apathetic and don't want to be in this circumstance anymore. You know, we are always accused of holding on and clinging. But this week, it feels like we just want to get something out of our lives and let it be over. It's almost like we want this to be done. Um, it could be about debt. You know, it, it could be like we're just so sick of being bogged down. Like you're getting one thing thrown at you after another and it's like, why can I not come up for air? That's the feeling. Like why is, is it just, as soon as I think I get a little bit ahead, it's like, it's like one step forward, two steps back. But that's also the mentality of you're not seeing the forest through the trees. The lack of the larger perspective and the um, sort of overdose of taking things too much to heart and letting them get too close to you and, and, and taking them too personally is skewing how you see things. Spirit has a plan. See, koala is upright. And spirit has, in other words, koala has that perspective of being in the trees and looking out through the canopy and seeing the larger picture. And spirit is upright. So this is the confirmation that I needed to be absolute. And look at the number. It's 35. That's eight. That is that spirit number of infinity. So Cancerians, I want you to take, I'm so glad you're listening to this recording right now because I want you to understand that things are not as bad as they seem. In fact, they are a lot better than they seem, but you are just taking hit after hit too close to your heart. And your apathy is about to throw away something that is actually a lot better than it seems. It almost seems like from your perspective or your feeling, something has died. It's just, it's always disappointing you. It's always letting you down. And you're just so done with being let down. You're so done with being disappointed. You're so done with working hard and not getting anywhere. You just have this feeling of, I'm ready to just not do this anymore. I just, I just, and I just don't, I can't do this anymore. And you want to throw it away. Bring a gentle touch. This is Virgo energy. You could be getting some support from... A Virgo in your life. But I honestly think it's got more to, what did I say? Stay your hand. Right now, this week, stay your hand. Don't rush to any decisions. Bring a gentle touch. And you have 35, which is 8. And then you have 18, which is 9. Okay, okay, so now we're getting more answers. When we stay our hand and we exhale, we're getting more answers. And I think that that's what's coming in, messages of love. Fawn energy actually has that message, that totem of having grace through difficult times. So there is a bit of a, there is struggle here. There is um, lacking there is sort of, you know, that winter is here. Forget about winter is coming and things are more stark. And, and for some reason, the abundance is just not springing up. But deer somehow find a way to make it through. This energy of faith, even in the sparse times. Spirit is watching over you. Be generous of spirit. And I think that this is a statement of spirit is generous with you. It is watching over you. It's got your back. But it's also have faith in yourself and be confident in yourself, Cancerians. Because um, if you're not being intentionally tested, you're still being tested. And 
Spirit, in other words, whatever you're dealing with now is so small compared to what you're destined for. So if something isn't working out, let it go. Let it go or let the emotional hurt or disappointment around it, let it go. Because it's almost like, remember I said you can't see the forest through the trees? You're letting the details or you're letting the small stuff get in the way of the big stuff. You see, this is the Virgo card, sort of impeding or standing in front of the Leo card. You're letting the details compromise how you feel about everything about yourself. And only seeing the details instead of the larger picture is compromising your sense of self. You're letting the small things overcome and defeat the larger project or the larger picture is almost like you've been paying too much attention to those little piddly things instead of making sure that you kept your sight set on your goal and that's why you feel so drowned and that's why you feel so drained because this little piddly shit is 11 11 this little piddly shit that has been bogging you down wasn't even your main course it's like you want to throw away the entire restaurant because appetizer disappointed you. It's almost like you forgot that it was just appetizer. This is, and I understand, it almost is like your first taste of, well, why do I want to stick around here if appetizer is bad? Maybe that's just a bad metaphor. Because it's like you're, it's like you're, What's disappointing you is so much smaller and insignificant compared to your ultimate goals in life. And this discouragement that you feel is discouragement from piddly stuff. So it's not even saying, that's why I say stay your hand. Keep doing what you're doing, just don't take it as seriously as you're taking it because it's not where you're headed. It's not where you're stopping. It's just your for now. I'm so glad you're watching this. Act as if, ooh, this is beautiful. Beautiful energy. Act as if you already have it. You know, right now, it's almost like you're trying to fit in where you don't belong. You're a lion trying to run among the deer. And it's like, there's no way that you're ever going to really fit in here. You can't, you don't belong. But this is still okay place to be. The reason why you're not okay is because you're taking this step too seriously and forgetting this isn't where you ever intended to set up your home. It's just a step. You're not supposed to build your castle on a step. You're supposed to build it on the top of the summit. So take the next step before you lay down any foundation. This is not where you lay down your foundation. And I think that's why you're so upset is you're judging this step. You're sitting here on this, this silly little step being like, why is it never stable? And why is the ground always so mushy? And why is it so disappointing? And why is my feet always sinking in? And it's so muddy. And this is not a place to build no, it's not. It never was supposed to be. Why are you still on that step, Cancerian? You can easily get stuck, unstuck from this muck when you realize this has never been. It's almost like you got so into something. You got so involved in what you were doing. You forgot this isn't where you're supposed to end up. This isn't even, this is just the beginning. And you're letting the beginning distract you from the ultimate goal. Cancerian, this problem is easily solved. Breathe in. Breathe out. And don't take where you are right now seriously. It is a good step. It has been a step up. But it is not where you were meant to stay. Where do you do? 
You remember where you're going and you act as if you're already there and it will pull you there. It will pull you toward it. It's almost like it will pull you out of the quicksand that you're now stuck in. To say, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good where I am. I appreciate where I am right now. It is not where I am meant to stay. Uh, it's not. And immediately your, your load will be lightened because... You won't be taking all the things that's happening. You're taking a lot very, very seriously. I can feel the heaviness through the camera. I can feel it because I can, I'm can. i one of you. You're taking something way too seriously. Time for a beginner mind. Let it go. Release all that energy. Co-create with spirit. And you are never alone. Wow. See, this is the real support you need. And remember, Koala, spirit has a plan. So if you feel like you're stuck, if you feel stuck, you feel like, you know, failure to launch. But not really, but that's because you haven't launched. And look at this. Spirit has a plan. Co-create with spirit. Keep manifesting. And stop looking at, but it hasn't happened yet. Because that's where your focus has been. Your focus has been, but it hasn't happened yet. And so you want to give up. Give up what? One step? You don't give up a step. You move on to the next one. Don't forget, Cancerians, where you are right now is not where you were meant to stay. There is more out there that you continue to manifest. I feel like you've been manifesting love. I feel like you've been manifesting something that you love. Your true connection. Um, where you are really, your life purpose or your soulmate. A true connection. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be romance. But where you are supposed to be in life. This is just part of that manifestation process. You've seen maybe a little bit of success and now you feel lost because you feel stalled. This isn't the ultimate destination. In fact, all the energy you've been putting into this step has distracted you and taken energy away from where you're really supposed to be putting it. So how about this? You shut everything down and you go back to where you're really supposed to be putting your priorities. Let me flip the camera around so we can go through this. Hold on. Here you are. Destined for beautiful things for greatness. Manifesting what you were meant to be. But where you are right now is not where you were meant to be. And you're perceiving your lack of movement or your lack of development or your perceived lack of success as total failure, as a sign that, you know, nothing is ever going to happen for you. Nothing is ever going to work for you. This was the small stuff. This is just a, a stage that you're moving through. Keep moving. It's distracting you from the real stuff. You got so invested. You just got so invested in this small stuff, you forgot the bigger picture. It's like you, you got so invested in picking out the granite, you forgot that it was to build a house. And so you're all caught up in the cracks in the granite. And you're losing sight of the bigger picture. That's why no progress has been made. Do not lose sight of the forest for the trees. I want you to remember, and this is what I say every time I see this card, remember Simba, remember who you are. It's my best James Earl Jones impersonation. I appreciate you tolerating that. Remember who you are. You just, you've just sort of 
forgotten for a second. You gotten so involved in where you are right now, you've forgotten where you're going. Remember. And your load will immediately get lightened. It's not a dream, Cancerians. It's not a dream when you're working at it. It's a plan. It is true. It is real. This is actually coming true. You communicated something to spirit. This is a message that you need to hear. Spirit? Spirit is still on task. Everything is still working out the way that it's supposed to work, the way that you asked it to work out. Everything is still happening the way you asked it to happen. That hasn't changed. Spirit is still on track. It's you that has lost sight of the big picture. All this stuff that you're letting upset you so much right now is a bunch of bullshit that in the long run is not going to have anything to do with your life. And maybe that's why it's sort of like still staying so small because this isn't what you're supposed to be recognized for. Or this isn't who you're really even supposed to be with. This was just a step to learn and grow. There's bigger things out there for you. Remember them and start focusing back on them. You've lost sight of them, Cancerians. And you need to put them back into the forefront. I'm going to get more details on how you're moving forward. And do the romance reading in the extended link below. I'll see you guys there.